All right, so in this video, we're going to be reviewing acid base. All right, acid okay. base. So when it comes to acid base metabolism, what we're really dealing with is hydrogen, acid, and bicarb. Yes. Remember also that CO2 mm -hmm. can act as a acid. acid. Okay. So what I need you to understand is that we have this equal ratio between bicarb and hydrogen. This equal ratio gives us a pH of about 7.4. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that <clears throat> the body likes to be at a temperature of 7.4. Okay. If we alter for whatever reason, if we alter hydrogen, bicarb mm -hmm. must respond. If we alter bicarb, hydrogen must respond. So okay. what would happen if I were to increase my hydrogen? What would bicarb have to do? Increase. It would have to increase. Exactly. All right. Vice versa. If I decrease hydrogen, well, what, sh what should happen to bicarb? Bicarb should decrease. Should decrease. All right. How about this? What if I increase bicarb? What should happen to hydrogen? Increase. Exactly. You see that? And then the, and the opposite is also true. Decrease okay. bicarb, decrease hydrogen. All right. Great. So we have our lungs. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones that, these are the guys that deal with our CO2. Okay. And then we have our kidneys. And they deal with bicarb. All right. HCO3. All right. So <clears throat> if I want to increase CO2 in the lungs, do I hyperventilate or hypoventilate? Uh, you hypoventilate. Exactly. If I want to decrease CO2, do I hyperventilate? hyperventilate. Hyper, okay. Mm -hmm. how, do I, how do I keep bicarb? Mm, um, we absorb it on the kidney? Do we excrete? Exactly. We reabsorb. Mm -hmm. we reabsorb. Exactly. Or if we don't want it, right? we'll excrete it. We'll excrete it. Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So that means that if your patient comes in, and let's say they have a pH of, I don't know, let's say 6.0. What does that tell me? Is this acidosis um, or alkalosis? That is acidosis. Acidosis. Okay, so we got the last name. Mm -hmm. All righty. Then I want you to look at bicarb. Okay. And let's say that bicarb is, um, what's normal bicarb? What's average bicarb levels? Uh, 25 to 35. Mm, that's a bit too high. 25 is a good number. 22 to 26 in reality, but 25, 24, that's a pretty good number. Okay. Right, it's about 25. All right, well, then let's say bicarb is at... 17. Is that high or low? That's a low. That's low. So therefore, is this metabolic or respiratory acidosis? Yes, it is. I'm asking it's, you. Um, metabolic acidosis. Metabolic, exactly. Metabolic mm -hmm. acidosis. All right. So bicarb, did we increase or decrease bicarb? Uh, we should increase it. Did we increase or did decrease bicarb? Oh, no, we decreased bicarb. We decreased bicarb. So if I decrease bicarb, what should happen to CO2 or hydrogen? Uh, hydrogen or CO2 should decrease. Also. Should decrease. How do I do that? Hyperventilating. Hyperventilation. Okay. Meaning that if I go to CO2, you said hyperventilating. What's normal mm -hmm. CO2? Mm, I'm... I'm not sure about the value. It's about 40. It's about 40. Right? Okay. So if CO2 about is about 40, 40 you said hyperventilation. Yeah. So therefore, that must mean that CO2 should be just under yeah. 40, right? So let's say it's about, I don't know, 33. Okay. Yeah. So that tells me that the patient has metabolic acidosis with respiratory compensation. So there is yeah. something I forgot to mention. Let's come back over here. The lungs, <clears throat> whenever the lungs have a problem, 
the kidneys respond. Whenever the kidneys have a problem, the lungs will respond. Right? Here's the yeah. trick. The lungs are immediate. Mm -hmm. Right? Whereas the um, uh, the kidneys, it takes about two to three days okay. to respond. Right? So <clears throat> if my patient has metabolic acidosis, then that means it's a kidney problem. Then that means that my lungs should respond. Mm -hmm. Right? How do they respond to a patient with metabolic acidosis? In this case, they would hyperventilate. Hyperventilate. Mm -hmm. And that's why I know that the CO2 should be low. low. 